Welcome to Wind Down Wednesday. Here are your hosts, Jeffrey Tobias Halter and Amanda Hammett. This is Wind Down Wednesday, a contemporary midweek discussion on current workplace and marketplace issues with a focus on diversity, inclusion, intersectionality, and equity. And as always, enjoyed with your favorite wind down beverage of choice. I'm Jeffrey Tobias Halter, and this is my friend and colleague, Amanda Hammond. Well, hi, welcome to our show today. And we're just gonna be taking a few minutes and talking about a current topic that uh, is on both of the mind of Amanda and I. So, uh, but before we jump in, you know, we've always have to share our wind down beverage of choice. So Amanda, what are you relaxing with today? <laughs> I feel like a broken record these days since 2022 started. I'm drinking a lot of water and a lot of kombucha, but I thought water would be too boring for us. So, oh my gosh, kombucha, kombucha. Yeah. good for you. you know, what about you, know, you? A lot of people take a dry January, um, you know, and, and decompress. I'm actually not one of those people. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying a nice Argentinian Malbec, uh, you know, kind of a cold day here in January. Yes. And so uh, we're just going to sit, we're going to wrap a little of, about what's what's on our mind. And, and specifically, you know, you and I have been talking kind of offline about what's going on with millennials regarding moving into leadership. You know, we, we, we've talked on previous shows about the big boomer resignation that's going on, but millennials are being thrust into leadership roles at an unprecedented pace. What are you seeing? What's on your mind today? What is on my mind, Jeffrey? What is on my mind? So, I mean, for those of you who aren't really paying attention and are not aware of what's going on, boomers are retiring, they're leaving the workforce, or their Gen Xers are taking other jobs, they're moving, and the rate at which the movement within the workforce is, is really an unprecedented precedented rate. So millennials are moving up the ladder quickly. Even if they're not buying for it, they're being promoted quickly. But what we're seeing is they're not prepared to take on these people leadership roles and they're floundering. The statistics for a first time leader in their first year of, to fail are staggering. It's about 80, 85 percent. And that's in a normal circumstance. We're not in a normal circumstance. And so I'm working with companies right now and people are like, I don't know how I got here. I don't know what to do. I was a performer and now I have all these extra responsibilities for people and I just want to tell them what to do. And that's not good leadership. You can't do that. So we're spending a lot of time going back to basics. My company actually has an eight week training program and it is back to basics. We call it the on-ramp because you're not even on the highway to leadership. You're just trying to get onto it. And I mean, it's things that we talk about here all the time. We spend a good chunk of those eight weeks talking about communication, listening, talking, making requests, all of those very basic things that a leader needs to do. And that's, that's something that we're seeing across the board, all industries, all business sizes. This is a struggle. Yeah, this is really fascinating. You know, being the old guy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to provide a little history lesson, right, that, that a lot of your listeners may not be aware of, but it is having literally a generational effect. Uh -huh. You know, you go back to the dot-com uh, bust of 2001. Mm -hmm. Companies laid off all kinds of people, but I was in training and development for a Fortune 100 company, and the first thing we did was cut training budgets. Every time. And then over the next six or seven years, they started to come back and then boom, the housing bust, right? 2008 to 2011, 12. And literally since that point, mm -hmm. companies have done nothing nope. to train their, not even young managers, all managers. Nope. So, so reflect on this. This has been 20 years, mm -hmm. these 20 somethings, are now 40 somethings mm -hmm. and they're on the cusp of VP, if not SVP. Mm -hmm. And they've never had any training. Yep. And then we throw on COVID yep. where, oh my gosh, I, I, I became a manager and I haven't even met the people who work for me in the last two years. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a huge, huge conundrum. So um, what's the solution? I'm, I'm going to put the solution all on you. 
Yeah. Um, but what can employees individually do? And then what can we encourage their companies to do? That's a great question. Um, honestly, I think that one of the things that we need to do is what I mentioned before, we need to go back to basics. A lot of these uh, new leaders are in positions where you know, they weren't taught any leadership skills. And if they were, it was all project management type skills. That's to manage workflow. We're talking about leading people. They're different beasts altogether. And we really need to work about, work on our person to person. How do we connect with people? How do we have empathy for people? That, that and communication will get you so far. So any employee out there that maybe your company is not willing to invest, you need to start thinking about investing in yourself. Companies, shame on you. You need to be investing in your people because we need to start thinking about our people, not as just numbers, but really what they're bringing to the table. If you don't have your employees and if you're consistently losing them over and over again, that's going to ruin your bottom line and you won't have a business much longer. So invest that money now. Yeah, and I think, you know, I, I think it's a great place to really have employees talk. There's so much going on with the great resignation. There's so many people changing jobs. And so many times people say, what's the title? What's the money? Where, you know, what's the flex policy? Uh, as you're out looking for work, you need to ask your employer, what are you going to do to prepare me? What are you going to do to develop me? And very appropriately, what does success look like? So if I do this well, what's my next role? And, and I don't think that's presumptuous at all. But, you know, so many people focus on the money yep. or, gee, I can, you know, work remotely. Ask yourself what the company is going to do to invest in you and, and build out your skill set. So, uh, well, this is a topic that's not going away. You're going to hear Amanda and I riffing on what's in our minds from time to time as, as we do between our guest hosts. So, uh, so we hope you've enjoyed our, our quick show today. But Amanda, I raise a glass and uh, here's, to, uh, here's to management training. Management training. Congrats. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks again for joining us for Wind Down Wednesdays, a contemporary midweek discussion on current workplace and marketplace issues with a focus on diversity, inclusion, intersectionality, and equality. I'm Amanda Hammett, and on behalf of myself and Jeffrey Tobias Halter, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for joining us for Wind Down Wednesday. If you like this episode, please subscribe to receive more episodes straight to your inbox.